Shalom. Shalom. Shalom on the star of souls, but giving no praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kabdash. Right, double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone. Right, and honestly, brothers in the work of the most on truth and in sincerity. A couple of brothers from a London camp, uh, just doing a in transit, see where the spirit leads, you know? You know, so, you know, we just, you know, arguing, just linking up, um, you know, reasoning about different things, reasoning about, you know, the, 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 the common you know, power that Arkim are going to receive, you know, the end of this man's world, right, and everything. So, in, in fact, on that, let me... Um, I was thinking of another one as well after. Yeah. Second is nine, isn't it? Okay, come, we can start on that. This is our second... Oh, I hate this when it bloody does that, man. So I'm just waiting for it to load. Right, so second as was nine from the top says he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, right, and what's the measuring stick that we have, right? These scriptures, right? You know, these scriptures allow us to tell, you know, allow us to know, you know, roughly how how far along you know, we are. Right, how close we are to the um, to the end of this man's kingdom, right? By way of the signs and prophecies, right? It says then shall thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? Says, Therefore, when they shall be seen earthquakes and uproars uh, of the people in the world, and, and we're seeing uproars of the people in the world, right? We're seeing what's happening all over the world, you know, on you know whether it's this issue or that issue or or, or, or yet another issue, right? And the, you know what? And as things start coming, to, um, as this man's kingdom starts ending more and more, right? We're going to be seeing a lot more of that, you know. We're going to be seeing a lot, a lot, a lot more of that, man. Hey, right? um, if I can say, yep. you know, seeing what's going over there right now in Sudan, yep, right. Basically, you got civil war, man. Yeah. You know, and obviously there's foreign interest going on because ultimately there is a war that's brewing, World War Three. Yep. You know, and there's wars and rumors of wars. There's wars going that's on it. right now. There's there's conflict going on in Ukraine and stuff like that. You know, Russia, the BRICS nations, it's all coming up. It's all coming to yep. a to a big head. Now, I, I, I'll say this: I found out, you know. Uh, from my father, you know, he's in the world, but well, pretty much I found out from him because he's he stays in touch with uh, people that live in Turkey, where, where we're from, and uh, you know he follows Turkish politics. Now you got a general election happening there over right over there in Turkey right now, and people are basically at each other's throats, and uh, they're saying that come the general election, 15th of May, they said they, they're saying there could be a um, uh, coup, at, coup coup attempts. You know, martial law, that kind of stuff. Mm. So there's all kinds of uproars of the people right now, man. You know, and um, you know tensions. So these are all signs of what the you know World War Three and pretty much yep. the, the laws return because it said what in uh, what was it verse two, how the Lord will visit the earth. Yep, which well, the, Lord, mean, yeah. the Lord is doing that through what these prophecies, man. Yep, through these judgments. You know, and ultimately He's going to actually come. You know, the brightness of his coming, as it says in Second Thessalonians, ultimately he's going to come and take this place over and destroy it. That's it. Uh, this is Matthew 24 and 3. Oh, so like, I don't know if I mentioned it, but pretty much there's so much tension over there. There's, there could be bloodshed very soon in that country, mm. man. You know, you see it happen over in Sudan. Yep. Different places. You've got France on a revolt. Well, you know, hey, man. You know, and, and, you know, we don't know how it's going to go exactly in terms of... Uh, what this devil's got going on, but we know his ultimate plan because it's part of prophecy. Yep. We know he's trying to set up this new world order agenda. So, hey, these are all part of the, the, the prophecies, man. So something could happen, pop off in Turkey very soon, That's in these cool. next coming weeks. Yep. You know, just, I'll say that, you know, keep your eyes peeled. Keep an eye. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's the thing, man, because at the end of the day, we, you know, we just hope for these things to happen. You know, we hope, you know, that these things happen because what, what, when they happen, guess what? That means, you know, we're one step closer to our exit from this wicked kingdom, man. That's right, that's right. All right? This is Matthew 24 and 3, and I'll go back to Second Ezra 9 in a bit. Right, it says, And he sat on the Mount of Olives. And as he sat up on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? 
right? So the you know the the the, the apostles back then they were in that spirit of like, well, you know, when when we go and come back, when you when 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 is the kingdom going to be restored? When when we going to come out of this uh, you know lowest state that we have been uh, uh, you know put in, right? But Yahushua said, right, and answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for uh, um, uh, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right? Uh, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Oh, well, let's touch upon some of those. Yep. What is it? Uh, read it again now. Huh? Yeah. It says, and you shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. So you're seeing that. You're seeing newspapers, propaganda. You're seeing wars. You're hearing about wars. You're hearing about the rumours of possible wars. Yep. You got all, all of that going on on the earth right now, man. Go yep. on, man. Uh, and you can going to say, because this is as well, what's happening in the world is alliances are being made, right? You know, when you watch the news, and that's why the scriptures talk about, you know, being occupied and prophecies. Right, you know, um, and yeah, there are the bits that you know some are gonna know, others are gonna know, but this is why we come together when we do these shows, right? So we can all know, right? But like when you see the alliances being made, you're seeing countries that were for the longest time so called neutral countries, right? All of a sudden starting to make, um, to take stances that ain't so neutral, right? You look at Finland and uh, uh, Sweden trying to join NATO, right? You even had Japan changing their stance officially for being uh, uh, um, peaceful, right, to basically saying that they're going to join America effectively. And then now you've got talks about um, uh, uh, America docking a nuclear sub, a nuclear capable submarine out of the coast of South Korea, right? So what, what is this all showing you? It's showing you that you've got all of these wars and rumors of wars that are, that are being um, ready, man, right, that are happening throughout the world. To see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? And what's that going into? The fact that actually all the prophecies have to come to pass is World War Three will not happen, right, until the MOTB. Okay. What is this man? Uh, is it your lights, maybe? Oh, it's my lights. Okay. Um, so this is for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Um and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right? And that's it. Right, so we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra 9. Um, yeah, 2nd Ezra 9 and 3, right? It's on the point against that. Um, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right, then shalt thou well understand that the most are spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right? So that's it, man. You know, the, 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 the Lord spoke about these things, but where? Right? He spoke about them in the, in, in the precepts. And let me grab this real quick, if I may. Right? Um, it says, uh, Isaiah 34, 16, right? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right? Because it, it is, this is where all of the information about what is about to happen in the world Right, this is where you know where this information is, man. Not in any of these other books, right? For instance, the precepts also say um, uh, 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 reading of many books, yeah. right? You know, it's weariness of the flesh. Okay, not saying that you know you can't go into extra, you know, extra, you know, books that you know back up the, the scriptures or whatever. Or have you going into the history or whatever? What have you, right? But the point is, the key point is the scriptures. Right, because the scriptures ultimately is what filters everything else out. Yeah, that's the measuring stick. That's, that's the, the, measuring that's the filtration. That's yeah. All of it. Did you, are you reading a thing here? Uh, Lunch I want to make. Yep. Okay. Fine. Yep. So it's Isaiah thirty-four sixteen. Seek out the book of the Lord Yahweh and read. None of these, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Do you want to speak on that? Can't. You know what I was going to say? Can we get a precept on that? Uh, okay. Habakkuk two and three. Yep. To land, to land back off that precept off of that, you know? Uh, it's Habakkuk uh, 2 and 3, right? It says, And for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, yeah, man, these are prophecies, they're visions. You know, the prophets have seen things, the Lord showed them things, and they've written, the Lord prophets wrote them down. 
you know, scribes, all of that. Mm. Now we're looking at it today and we understand these the laws at uh, these these last days has given up given us the hundred percent understanding through so starting with our pastors and elders on down. Yep. Has given us this understanding of of you know what's going on. Mm. And we're living in the time of the end. You know, we're living in the time of uh you know revelation you know, going into World War Three. We're living in the time of uh, the Karagma, Revelation 13 and 16, shortly coming to pass. Yep. We're living in the time of, you know, Second Ezra, talking about who's going to get, you know, basically we're coming into Jacob's trouble. That's it. You know, we're at the, 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 the stages of it where it's going to it's gonna start, man. You know, we can see the, 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 the engines revving. Yeah. You know, basically. It's just not going to full gear yet. Because when it does, man, it's going to be all mayhem. Yep, you that's know? it. And, and, and it has to be, man. Right? Because um, the scripture says, oh, let me grab this if I may. Oh, did you want to make a point? I was going to say, you don't find it anywhere other than the scriptures. In the scriptures, it talks about Jacob's trouble. In the mm. scriptures, it talks about the salvation and the, all of the madness that's going on, man. If I'm going to Jacob's trouble. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, you can read, you're not going to get that from other books. Like, for example, you got all these um, Jake that are into Islam, right? You got the Quran, right? That doesn't say anything, any prophecy about um, the the chip. They don't say mm. nothing about it. They don't warn you from it. You know. So how is that going to warn you from the destruction that's to come? From what's the, what's the, so from what's going to be presented by the devil in front of you? It's not. That's it. So all the people that believe in that, they're going to be destroyed, man. You know. But if you uh, you know, come to this truth, to this scriptures, and you have the understanding, the true understanding. You're gonna know. You're gonna be warned because that's where it speaks about it. That's where the prophecies of the Lord are. You know. That's it. Uh, you speak, mentioned Jacob's trolls. Jeremiah 30 from verse six. Ask you now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all face are turned into pelters. Right, alas. That day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right, and that's going into the elect, man. The elect are going to be protected from these things. Right, ultimately, right. Oh man, I got after you finish, I've got a priest. Oh yeah, you've you got to. Uh, Psalms forty six and one. Yep, I believe it's forty six and one. Just checking all the shot. Just on that note, you know. Uh, Psalm 46 and 1 The Most High is our refuge and strength A very pleasant help in trouble A very pleasant trouble A very pleasant trouble What does it say? Yeah. Very, the, mo the Most High yeah. is our refuge and strength Yeah. A very pleasant help A very present like yeah. a help in, in trouble A very present a very present in trouble So we're coming yeah. to take his trouble That's it So the Lord's going to be there for us yeah. so Say care for his elect Yeah so that's a bad boy priest. I have a care for, I have care yeah. for his elect, man. So the Lord is looking out for what? It's who's the salvation for? Mm. Now, ultimately, all Israel, as it says in Romans, is going to be saved in the Lord in the terms of what? We're going to be in the kingdom. All right? But, you know, a lot of our people on this side are going to have to get punished. They're not going to get beamed up into them ships and chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs, mm. out of this coming destruction. Yeah. You know, so the only ones that are going to be beamed up is the elect. You know, mm -hmm. we are the hopeful elect. We're hoping to be saved. You know, saved from what our enemies, saved for the destruction, yeah. right? saved from all of that. So it, it, it's, it, you know, that's only for the elect, man. The Lord's only dealing with His elect right now. That's it. And through the elect, the rest of the nation they're going to come back. That's it. The elect, the elect, the elect. Because for instance, the priest that says, if I may, real quick, right, Romans nine and six. Um, it says uh, Not as though the word of the Most I have taken none effect For they are not all Israel Which are of Israel Wow Right So it, you know the Lord There's a there is Israel Then there is a Israel of the Most High Yeah Right Because you know the, the You know Sad truth But you know Just the truth Is that the majority of our people Ain't gonna make it On the first go around Right Because oh, it, 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 Because the Lord don't want them to Yeah they got, He's blinded them ultimate. Yeah, that's the old school. Isaiah the sixth chapter goes yeah. into that. Even when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, the Lord of the, yeah. the Matthew the thirteenth chapter, the yeah, disciples yeah. were asking him, Why don't why do you speak to them in parables? Yeah. Because the Lord was going to Jake. 
because it's, it's not because it's not given to them to receive the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah, and and in the um, in the account that Yahweh Shah gave, because in, in in it's basically a, 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 a almost word for word with what was uh, uh, quoted in Isaiah six and, and nine through eleven. Right, but when Yahweh Shai says it, he says, um, and lest lest they should be converted and I should heal them. <laughs> right? right. So what so what is he what is, what is that? What can you uh, uh, understand from that then? He said, I don't want these I don't want them. That's what he's saying. Well, if, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, in John the seventeenth chapter they said, I pray for them, I pray uh, yeah, not for yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, that's it. What, that's what, it. what was the Lord talking about? <laughs> he said, that was a prayer for the elect, man. That's it. That's what the Lord was dealing with. Thine is mine, you know. That's it. Hey, you gave them me, you know. Yeah, yeah I kept them yeah, in yeah. my name. Hey, yeah. man, the, the Lord's only dealing with the elect, man. That's it. That's who he's come for. Hey, uh, before the Lord, you know, well, not before the Lord, but pretty much you had Elijah, not Elijah, uh, John the Baptist. Mm. What did John the Baptist say to um, uh, the wicked scribes and Pharisees? Who warned you from the wrath yeah, to come? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so this ain't for everyone on this side. That's it. Oh, we even said bring forth meat, fruit, 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 fruit. So what's that mean? The elect. <laughs> the Lord wants meat, fruit, uh, fruit, reap meat for yeah, repentance. That's it. Because only the elect are going to repent, meaning fruit, 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 great sorrow, sorrow, mm. meaning sorrow for being sorry. You're going to repent. Uh, just to double check, can we go into that word? Because I haven't gone into it a long time. I believe that's what it means. Uh, just, just to make sure we've got the right information, repent. Repent, yeah. Yeah. Uh, any particular pre or just etymology. Whatever. Etymology. Oh, etymology. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Uh, Rian is back in his, uh, yeah, repent and uh, T. Pens, I'm thinking about pens. Um, this is repent. Uh, verb circa 1300s repenting be grieved over one's past and seek forgiveness feel such regret for sins crimes or omissions as produce adamant life from old french repentir from re here perhaps used as an intensive prefix very much um vulgar latin pene pene tire, to regret from latin po uh, po when right. ne make sorry yeah make sorry yes. yeah. yeah so yeah we're sorry we regret the things that we've done our sins and we still seek repentance of the Lord so what do you do you come with you you become a newborn babe mm. okay and uh, you know the, the baptism that's the true baptism yeah and you go through and basically you repent to the Lord man and that's, that's the main message that uh, the Lord was pushing because we had John the Baptist do it because he was paving the way Malachi you know precept uh, not precept uh, um, he came to set the Lord you know to set it up so he said uh, how does the word go go word and go bro? I'm going to butcher it uh, but shoe work the shoe I'm not worthy to latch it uh, oh uh, yeah um, uh, uh, let is, me let me grab that let me grab it let me grab it because basically you know people were looking up to John John was a, a man of the Lord man you know people were looking up bro this guy is what is up with these people on the, on the road man these people are nuts mm. they're crazy man that's it yeah, he's, he's, weaving. Yeah, he's weaving. Yeah, he's weaving. You know what I mean? So you gotta work, keep your eyes peeled in this place, man. Yeah. See, well, these people are losing it. Anyway, well, I, I got the one. This is um, John one from. Uh, oh, so like, yeah, I was gonna say, John, people looked up to John the Baptist as a, as a man of the Lord, a prophet. But he's when he, when he basically, and he, that was Yahweh Shai's cousin. Mm. How was he said, Look, yo, this is this is him. Yeah. This is the one. This is the Messiah, basically. You know what I mean? He's gonna think probably yeah, you're gonna go into it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so I'm just seeing where to start from. Uh, but the main me thing I was trying to say that's is that true. the message was always repent ye yeah. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the it. Baptist did it. Yahweh Shai, that was the main message from Yahweh Shai, yeah. our Lord. And we so Within this, yeah, 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 can't you? We're gonna say the same thing, on, yeah. When we're, we're coming, starting off with the apostles on down, we're coming in the same spirit, same message, same message, man, right? Because it, oh, what well, scripture says, um, and I believe it's in the apocrypha, he had given no man license to sin, right? Because that's it, you get, you get, you know, the friends, these wacky tackies, right? They'll come in and they'll use, uh, try, try and use great because grace as a cloak of maliciousness. Right, but that no, it's not. We gotta, we gotta do our best. And actually, someone who's of the elect will want to do their best. Right, that's just gonna be something in their spirit. Right. 
Uh, John 1 from 26. Uh, John answered uh, them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom you know not. He it is whom cometh after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it I am not worthy to unloose. Yeah. <laughs> so he was picking up the Lord, man. That's yes, it. You know, because everyone was looking at John, but the, the main man is Yahweh Shai. That's yes, it. You know, it's about Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and that's and what the message that Yahweh Shai came with: "Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." Mm. So this is about repenting, and not only the elect are going to do that. The wicked of our people, the scriptures say, the same shall know my death after pain. When place of repentance was all. Well, I've actually, I was actually holding. Oh, go on, man. Yeah, go on. I, I'm spirit. holding the one in Second Nehemiah eight. I think the one you just quoted the directly is nine parts of it. Okay, yeah. This is um, Second Nehemiah eight from fifty five. It says, and therefore ask no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Oh, that's a good one. Right, because that's it. It's like the, there's a multitude that are gonna uh, uh, perish, man. Right, but basically, don't let's not you know worry ourselves about them, right? Because it's gonna go and, and explain why. So, for when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High. Oh, that's what it was. That's the word. Yeah. I was singing the repentance, not liberty. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah. yeah. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, Lord, scorn of His law, and forsook His ways. Wow. Right. So, so this, so this is it, right? It's like. Uh, um, you know, because we were speaking earlier on about you know how a load of, a load of Jake's gone end up dropping dead, right? Right, but this is this is one of the reasons why one because the Lord don't want him, right? But two, the Lord has actually used his men to go out and be like, hey, repent, repent, repent. Right, when you read Proverbs, the first chapter it goes into, I've stretched out my hand, right, and no man regarded. Oh, yeah. But how did the Lord stretch out his hand? The Lord right. stretched out his hand by way of his prophets, man. Yeah. Right here, and this is it. No one can say that they haven't heard about the Israelites, right? And the proof of that, because you you watch clips. I remember there was you know one of one of those simps. He, he you know he tries to seem conscious, but really he's a simp for the black woman, right? One, um, Shaka Bars, right? He I remember he posted up an RUIC uh, clip where they were getting on Eve, right? And then you know they were all being you know as if to as, as if to like try and get on the RUIC. But I remember watching that just thinking, well, all of you have just been condemned now. Right. Because you've seen the clip. Yeah, IURC go off on certain things, right? But ultimately, you you can't come around when the law comes and it sends his angels to start destroying and fucking up this place. You can't then say, I never knew about Israel. Um, so it says, moreover, they have trodden down his righteous, right? Um, and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, and that knowing they must die, right? And that's it, man. You know, so the Lord, the Lord has stretched out His hand, right? But you know, our people they're stiff-necked, they're hard-hearted, right? They want to continue on in the things that they're doing. Right? So the Lord's like, look, man, well, I, I gave, I gave you the opportunity, right? right. You, you know, you didn't want it. So, hey, what it says in the next chapter alone. Right, is they the same must know after death by pain? Can, can we read that? Well, sure. Okay, we're done with that one. Oh, uh, yeah, let's read into it as well. Um, finally, that's where we started off in second as is nine, isn't it? It's great. Um, you said you're gonna come back to it, it's yeah, it's spirit, back. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, if I was, I'll read into it a little bit, right? But I'm going to jump down to 7, though. Uh, verse 7. Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to, to escape by his work and by faith, whereby ye have believed, wow. shall be preserved from the said perils. And the elect are going to be doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, you know, because it, it, it's a type, the Lord is about, Jewel, I believe it was Apostle Kabar, did a video not too long ago um, about duality. Right, about the duality of the Most High, because you have, uh, 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 you know, you had, I think you had like a wacky tacky, you know, trying to basically, you know, say they know. Most High is all about duality. When, when, um, uh, 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 what do you call it? The chariots, they're coming to destroy, but they're also coming to save. Right? So, um, but this is, uh, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby you have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I sanctified them for me from the beginning wow. right so the elect have been sanctified from the beginning right foundation of the world man mm. Priesthood says Ephesians 1 yeah. 4 I believe yeah. right 
um, says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully. Uh, sorry, and they and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right, so for instance, I'm thinking about um, when the priests would say, um, you know, such and such have received their consolation. Yeah. Right, you get people in this world, they've, they've received their consolation on this world. Right? Yeah. Um, it says, and they and they that have loathed my law, while they yet while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Oh, so it does say that, yeah, because yeah. the place of repentance is open right now. Yeah. Right, go on, huh? Yeah, it says, um, do you want to go into it? No, that's the, oh, yeah, the yeah. point. Yeah, you go on. Huh? When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Understood not, mm. but despised it. The scriptures say what? Despise the word. Yeah. If you're despised and rejected, if men shall hate you, revile yeah. you. So that's all. It's all and because ultimately, this is all you have a shy. Because it said that they despise the ways, right? Well, what does the Lord say? He said, I am the way. Mm -hmm. Right? And then there's yeah. another precept to that where it says in the scriptures, I don't know where it is, it might be in Isaiah. Where it says, this is the way, walk ye in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So we're telling you, we're telling you about Yahweh Shai. We're telling you, look, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, repent. A place of salvation. The door is open to you. Yeah. But the majority of our people are not going to be able to get it. Only the elect. Yeah. Only through meat for repentance. That's it. You know, I'm just going to take, we're going to go back to that from May, I was uh, looking for a precept and I found found this. Right. I'm going to read into it a little bit. So Proverbs 8 from verse 33. It says, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Right? Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my door. For whoso findeth me, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Right? So the first couple of verses we just read when we got back to 2 Ezra 9, right? That's going into that kind of spirit. Right? right? Um, then, but then we, what reason why I was uh, looking for this uh, for, for the next verse was talking about it's a scripture before it's talking about um, despising the law of the Most High, right? And it says this in verse thirty six: But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Soul, all they that hate me love death, right? So if you despise the laws of the Most High, you despise the Most High. Therefore, as a priest, that they're saying there, you love death, man, bro. right? Got a perfect precept on that. Come on, bro. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 13. That's the one I was looking for. I, I talked to 13 and 33. <laughs> the word, uh, it's the spirit. It's the spirit of the Lord. It's, yeah. it's, it's all the Lord. The Lord's at the will. That's it. This is Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Good that's it. And, and that's it, man. He despises the, 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 um, the law of the Lord. That, hey, you go, you go and die, man. Why? Right? Because what are you gonna do? You're gonna, uh, 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 you know, be doing. Oh, you're gonna do as your heart, your heart wishes. What does the scripture say about the heart? Jeremiah 17 and 9. Like that, the heart is desperately wicked, right? That's how they they're pushing all this debauchery in the world, right? They, uh, 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 love is love. Do right. do whatever feels right, right? right? You only live once. You only live once, right? But all of those things that they're talking about are things that are just straight up wickedness. <laughs> like, yeah. you know. Uh, gonna go back. Ooh, hold on, what was that? Yeah, I'm gonna go, go back to um, Second Ezra 9. Uh, where were we, though? Yeah, verse 11, right? It says, um, And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, where I understood not but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Right? So, hey, these people, man, they've had the opportunity. So, Lord's like, look, man, hey, whatever happens from here, that's on them. Right? They're going to die, and that's on them. Right? Um, it says, uh, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when? Right? So, it, it, it's a promise, right, that, these, the, that the ungodly are going to be punished. Right, but basically, uh, the angel was saying to Ezra, was like, Look, man, don't worry about all that because that is true. You know, there was, it was a period of time, you know, I was, I was going through it, I was just, you know, constantly thinking about this trash and getting caught up in the distrust. But ultimately, you know, we hope that we're of the elect, right? And the scripture says that the elect will be protected, right? And it's going to go in and say that, it says, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, 
and for whom the world is created, right? So that should be the main thing that we're, you know, that we're concerned about how the righteous are going to be saved. Because then by understanding that, then we can do our best to emulate that, right? To give our be ourselves the best opportunity of being saved. Now we understand, right, that it's uh, uh, predestined, right? But we still do our best, right? Re uh, re rehearsing the righteous acts of the Most High, right? Because that's it at the end of the day, man. You know, we can only do, we can only do our best, right? I, I had a precept, man, for you, unless you got something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Romans 11 and 7. Okay. Uh, Romans 11 and 7 What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for But the election hath obtained it And the rest were blinded Yeah, so the rest were blinded From being able to obtain this truth, man They're blocked spiritually The ears, the Lord, the ears have been heavy, made heavy They can't get this You know, so He said what? The elect shall obtain it, right? Yep, Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it. Yeah, you know, Israel's a spiritual people. You know, they said that they got a zeal for the most time. But what? Not according to knowledge. Knowledge, that's it. You know? So who's the ones that are going to uh, worship the Lord in spirit and in truth? The true worshippers. The elect. Mm -hmm. And that's who the Lord's dealing with right now, man. You know, the rest of Israel are going to have to get it on the other side. Yeah. When they come back as, as the newborn babes. Of the elect, that's the children it. of the elect, you know. That's it, because that's what that's what in Daniel's right. Um, some shall wake to uh, everlasting. Um, uh, how was it? Let me look at it. So, okay. Yeah, this is um, Daniel's twelve and two. Right, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Right? You know, so those you know that don't make it on this on this go around, right, they're gonna come back and can they have their head down for a little bit, man. Right? Because you know that, that place of repentance was open unto them, but they just they just weren't weren't their lot. And they go and look back, yeah man, you know, this that and the other. <laughs> You know, feel away, but at the end of the day, ultimately, you know, all Israel is going to be saved, and that's a beautiful thing, right? Ultimately, right? Yeah, we're going to all Israel is going to be good in the kingdom. Yeah, you know, but if from this coming destruction, only the elect are going to be saved. Only the elect won't be saved. You know, just to clarify. You know? Oh yes, yeah, so we made that sound good. Yeah, just in case you know, yeah, yeah. Are misinterpret, so we've got to be clear. But yeah, pretty much, man, that's it. Ultimately, yeah, the salvation is. Israel is going to be saved yeah. in the world ultimately, yeah. But, you know, that the destruction, man. So that we're seeing these signs, we're seeing these prophecies come to pass. Mm. You know, we're doing what we've got to do. We'll do these lessons, we're warning our people. Yeah. You know, and, and those that are ready to hear, and the ears to hear, going to be sealed and saved, man, the elect. You know? Yeah, that's it. Um... Because you had uh, mentioned, uh, uh, what you call it, give warning, right? This is um, Ezekiel 3 from 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, right? Yeah. So, hey, we, we, you know, we, we, we heard, right? Um, you know, we, we, we heard, we learned, right? And then hey, we, we, we had to go out and, 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 you know, pass it on, man. Yeah. You know, so when we give this warning, we're supposed to give them a warning from me. Yeah. When they, we give them this warning, right? As FDA and one crowd out, spare mm -hmm. on. Show my people their transgressions, right? So when we're doing that, what does it say? When the word is mixed with faith, right? In those that hear it, when the word gets mixed with faith, it's, it's about faith because the elect are going to be gifted that faith, right? Yeah. They're going to have the faith. When that gets mixed and it's, it's, it's working, What's, what's going to happen? Fear. Because mm. you're going to fear, and then what does the scripture say about fear of the Lord? It says, that's the beginning Begin of knowledge. Yeah. Beginning of wisdom. And that's how you're going to accrue this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It's going to be like an armor to you in this in this world of deceit and lies. Yeah. You know, ruled by Satan. Ruled, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruled by the deceiver. 
well, the, the truth shall set you free. That's right, man. That's, That's right. It. Yeah, because it is true. This 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 world has you know just filled with lies, man. Right, and that's why that's why people are bugged out. That's why people are, are, are just hella confused and lost out here, man. It's a stronghold. Yeah, you got strongholds out there of, the, of lies and doctrines. Yeah, pulling, yeah, pulling. And that's what they, we, we, to do. Spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, we're doing it, pulling down those strongholds. Yeah, the Lord yeah, is man. using these men to, you know, through His Word, speaking, barking His Word, pulling down these strongholds, man. You know, that's it. spiritual warfare. That's it. I don't know if you had anything. Yeah, go yeah. finish this off. Yeah. And verse 18 says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. And the wicked here is talking about is Israel. Yeah. He's talking about Israelites. You know? Go on, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because his number plays like sin, isn't it? Right. <laughs> that's the same that's the same preset that goes into uh, yeah. restore the pledge, right? Uh, the wicked restore the pledge, is that the same one? Maybe later, I don't know, I don't okay. know. But, yeah. but that's talking about, I believe that's talking about the, yeah, go on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it says, um, I'm talking no, about Israel, that's talking about Israel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It says, No speakers to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require thy hand. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that's why we, um, we, you know, we come out here, you know, one, and we do these shows. One, because we want to do them, right, but two, it's like, yo, if we don't. <laughs> You know the Lord is uh, 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 ain't gonna be pleased with us. Let's just put it put it out. Yeah. The Lord will jack us up, man. Yeah, you you don't want to put this truth in a napkin. Yep, that's it. Um, verse nineteen. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. That's right. You know. So that so that's it. You know. So we we, we teach people whether they will hear or whether they will fall back. Right, so once again, starting off with pauses on down, right? You, you know, but um, yeah, man. I, you know, I, I don't know if you have anything else. Nah, Lord, what was edifying, man. Yeah, Lord, yeah, those what I was edifying, you know. So, hey, till till we meet again, man. You know, go and give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kadosh. Right, double honor, double honors, the apostle, great millstone. Our honesty, brothers, and the work of the most on truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.